morning everyone this is Tony from her homestead skills and uh, well I have been to the shops looking for uh, a number of items and finding different things not specifically what I was looking for but that's all it, it's all good uh, I went to uh, Dollarama looking for um, bamboo canes to use as stakes for the tomato plants that I'll be putting in uh, I have expanded on the area where I will be planting tomatoes and uh, I don't want to purchase any more of the uh, uh, tea posts this year so and Dollarama did not have any bamboo stakes they were sold out but there are a couple of other Dollarama stores that I can hopefully find something we don't know anyway what I did find was that they that particular store had uh, more than normal amount of canning lids normally they carry about two packages of 24 each and I think this time they had at least six packages of 24 each so they're definitely prepping for the canning season that's coming up and they're doing it early just like they did for the planting season so yes I should have gotten my bamboo stakes earlier but I didn't know what I was going to do so I could not plan ahead anyway that was done a couple of other things that I was looking for was if um a couple of gardening tools. I had a wonderful old pair of Falco pruners that I have been searching for up and down and high and low <laughs> and cannot find them anywhere and I can't believe I've lost them and I know that they're somewhere around I just have no idea where so in the end I just got totally fed up and decided to buy another pair. Unfortunately, those are probably the most expensive pruners you can buy. And Mark had bought my original one for me, ooh, had to be at least 10, 15 years ago. And I was spoiled. And um, they are probably the nicest pruners on the market. Uh, Swiss made, and you can replace the blades. So uh, well worth paying the extra dollars. As I said, the last one I had at least 10 or 15 years, and it probably did need either a blade sharpening or replacement anyway. So hopefully if I find the other one, then I'll have two. That would be awesome. But I did buy that at a specialty shop that Mark found for me. The uh, normal shops where I would look for it were out of stock. So, and they were places where you would traditionally find um, tools for the garden or for planting and Mark looked in a spot where he would buy all different kinds of tools rather than tools specifically for gardening okay which is wonderful and they were probably the best price on the market from where he found for me so I did go to pick them up um, and that was wonderful then there was another tool that I've been looking for and um, I went to Canadian Tire to try to locate that one. Uh, Canadian Tire having almost everything you can imagine. There was something else I was looking for at Canadian Tire, and that's the uh, Mason Tops uh, glass pebble, pebble, I think they call them pebble tops or pebble stones or something, but they are for fermenting. They're glass tops that you put in uh, a mason jar. Uh, for fermenting and of course with the uh, uh, pickles, uh, cucumber season fast approaching, I would like to pickle some uh, cucumbers and uh, those look like an ideal item and uh, I saw them at Walmart and was, uh, oh wonderful, I can pick these up. Unfortunately, Walmart just had the regular size and I don't want the regular size. I want the wide mouth and I searched them out on the internet and sure enough the wide mouth are sold out again. So uh, I guess there's a few people thinking the same thing I have been thinking about. Okay so decided to look for those at Canadian Tire but apparently Canadian Tire does not carry them. Surprised. 
they seem to carry everything else. And this other particular tool I was looking for, they also don't carry. And I found it elsewhere and I did order it and it should show up, oh, they say Monday, but Monday's a holiday here, so likely Tuesday or Wednesday, which is fine. And, um, but what I did find at Canadian Tire was uh, obviously tons of canning jars, tons and tons of canning jars. And to my surprise, they had a huge amount of canning lids, the regular size. Okay, so just looking at the picture that I took, it had um, eight of these boxes, like two rows, and two rows of four each, so that there were eight of these boxes that hold 24 packages of 12 uh, canning lids. So eight per row, and I calculated at least 6.5 deep, so six full rows and one half row deep equals about over 1,200 boxes of regular mouth canning lids. And if you times that by 12 lids per box, there are well over 14,000 canning lids just in that container. And they have uh, another um, shelf with the lids and rings of the regular mouth, and they also have more products on shelves. So Canadian Tire, at least that particular store, is gearing up for the canning season. Are you? This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.